it's kind of an enjoyable job. Roger Stansberry's taught plenty of student drivers as a driving school instructor and school owner since 1988. If we get a driving school and a driving strike does a good job and teaches thoroughly, uh, then we have students that will be less likely to be in a collision. But after San Diego police's arrest of a driving school instructor, Richard Joseph Banks, from El Cajon-based American Driving School for alleged sex crimes against female students, Stansberry tells me there could be an impact on the reputation of the industry. It's bad. It makes us all look bad. It's terrible, you know, and this is the most important class they'll have. When it comes to hiring instructors to teach the classes, Stansberry says the DMV requires a criminal background check, what he calls a life scan, to be done before they can take the test to be an instructor. The owner of Baker's Driving School tells me he does take additional steps before hiring some instructors. What I do is with male teachers is I want my phrase I use is be previously vetted. So I want to hand select them that they have come from an experience with the Boys and Girls Club as a teaching profession where they were live scanned before like a college, university, a high school where they were previously a teacher and where there's some history there. When it comes to Banks' arrest, American Driving School tells ABC 10 News in a statement they're shocked by the allegations, Banks' actions are his alone, and they violate the trust and policies of the company and the DMV. The school also saying in part, quote, We've always encouraged parents to ride on lessons for observation of our teaching methods. As with all DMV licensed instructors, Joe passed a DOJ background check before he was hired. End quote. We just need a little more regulation with the legislature. You know, keep us on our toes. Stansberry tells me, in his opinion, a way to prevent these kinds of situations is better laws to have multiple people in the car. So that law is don't allow a kid and a teacher to be alone in the car. It's, just, it's a simple solution. Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.